Hello everybody, welcome back to another adventure with Charlie's Adventures. Today, I've got my daughter Caitlin with me and we're headed in to Catoosa WMA. We got drawn on the uh, first, first muzzleloader hunt and then uh, we skip a week and then we're on the rifle hunt. So it's uh, October the 25th, and we're heading down here to uh, set up camp. And Ashton's going to meet us down here in a little bit, and uh, we're going to do some scouting and uh, see if we can get on a deer down here. It's uh, antler deer only, and it's got to be four points on one side, or it's got to be 15 inch spread. And uh, we usually just do the four on one side is what we go with, unless it's just a, you know, it'd be a big wide deer. <coughs> and those are pretty seldom. But anyway, we're uh, getting ready to come in to one of the old checking stations. We, we come in on the Catoosa side. And... Uh, that right up through here is where the old uh, checking station was. Me and a buddy of mine, wow, well they've done a lot of good work on the road, we can tell. About bounced us out of our seats. <laughs> Caitlin's over here laughing. But a uh, buddy of mine, we used to come down here at the old checking station when they uh, closed it down and we had a door that we uh, took in and out because they took the door out when they quit using it. And we'd come down here and put a door in, and that's what we camped in. And it's right here to the right of us right there is where that old checking station used to be, right here. But uh, anyway, you know, they've, uh, you can see here, they let these grow up. But uh, we're on the bicolor side is where we're going to be camping. Uh, they did uh, put a new bridge in down here, I think, uh, last year. We were down here last year, and they were working on it. And uh, as far as I understand, they've got it done now. Uh, they still haven't done one, a new bridge down at Daddy's Creek. Uh, it's been out for years. I'm going to say probably 25 years, maybe even longer. It's been a long time. And, uh, last year, there was some guys camped when we came in. They were camped right in there. And that's how we found out that the bridge was out. But in the end, they said we couldn't make it through. So we had to go all the way around to get to the bicolor uh, campground and we ended up finding out we didn't have to. I'm going to hand the camera to Caitlin here. This is a swimming hole right here. Let her, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever been here or not, but that's a swimming hole. There used to be a rope swing here. Yeah, right there it is hanging off that tree there, Caitlin. Probably can't see it on camera. But we're gonna go up here and uh, get the tent set up, get some things organized, and then uh, Aston's having to do some running today. He's getting his motor, uh, he's getting the machine work done on his motor and his Bronco too. And the guy said he should be finished with it this weekend. So he had to take his, uh, pistons, rods, and crank and cam up to the machine shop up in Robbins, Tennessee. Uh, Walter Jackson's doing his machine work for him. Ashton uses him. He likes him. Always done him a good job. And uh, Anyway, Ashton's having to do that this morning and uh, then he's going to come on down and 
Then we're going to go and try to locate us some stand spots. We're going to come around here to this bridge here in just a minute. And, uh, the leaves are beautiful here right now. Can't really tell it down here by this creek because there's a lot of hemlocks and pines, but coming in down from Wartburg down Katosa, it was pretty. We should have videoed coming down through there, but we didn't. But anyway, we're going to record until we get around here to this bridge, and then we'll take time out and then uh, meet with somebody here now. Say, bud. But uh, anyway, we're going to get around here to this bridge. We'll video the new bridge. I can't remember the name of the creek that this bridge crosses. I'll have to refresh my memory and then I'll let y'all know what creek it is. Should already know that, but I don't. I'm wanting to say Island Creek, but I'm probably wrong. This is the new bridge here. It used to be a wooden bridge. Pretty nice. All right, we'll uh, cut away and then we'll get back to y'all when we get on up near the campground. Or unless we happen to run across something. We did have a bar run across the road in front of us last year coming out right up here above this bridge. But we'll get back to y'all here in a little bit. All right, we're headed up the hill. I'm just going to let y'all see how pretty these leaves are, the foul colors. And, uh, the road's a little better here, but coming in from Catoosa side up to that new bridge and then uh, up onto the cable, is the road was pretty rough, but it's a lot better shape, I'm assuming, from down there at the cable up to the campground. Run into one guy. He was on side by side coming out. Real nice feller. I'm not gonna tell his name on YouTube. He might not like that, but uh, anyway. I was telling my daughter that uh, there was a guy He's passed away now, been gone for a long time. I ran into his wife over here a long time ago, and she took me and a friend of mine and showed us a good spot to deer hunt somewhere up through here, and I cannot remember where it was at. And uh, I'm just telling Caitlin about it. And I'm gonna try to watch out for that, and we may try to come back down here and scout it out maybe if I can kind of put a finger on it. Looks like it's strong. Right there? Yeah. But anyway, uh, we're kind of looking and eyeballing as we're uh, easing up through here. You can tell we've got this truck loaded down back of the truck, the bed, and the trailer pretty much. Just for a three day hunt, you'd think we was going for a month. Better to be over prepared than under prepared. This is a lot less than last year. <laughs> yeah, we're, we are lighter <laughs> than last year, for sure. We, we went totally over prepared last year. But anyway, we're uh, gonna keep looking for some places to come and check out and uh, we'll be back maybe up at the campground.
All right, we're uh, coming into the back other campground. We're going to get up here and uh, try to find us a good camp spot. Ashton already came and put a small tent up in a spot, and we're not completely sure. You know, we don't want to be right at, we kind of like a little bit of privacy. Man, the leaves are a lot different this year than they were last year. Over here you can see a clear cut. They clear cut a lot of land on this area the last few years. Alright, we made it up here to the campground on the bicolor side. Looks like they've got a pile of lime here. Bicolor Campground Eagle Scout Project BSA, Joey Lynn Reynolds, 1990. But, uh, right over here is where Aston chose her campsite at. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, go to setting up camp. And, uh, I'm going to end up just setting the camera on the uh, tailgate of the truck. And me and Caitlin's going to go to town on putting the uh, tent up. I did a video last year, but it got bombarded and I didn't get to post it. We've got a uh, Kodiak canvas tent. It's a wild tent. It's got a stove jack in it. And I'm going to set the camera up. On the tailgate here, me and Caitlin's gonna commence on uh, setting this tin up. First thing we want to do, we're gonna lay out a uh, ground miner, and then we're gonna go from there. We've actually got to practice putting this tin up a couple of times now. <laughs> Thank goodness, because it's uh, not the easiest thing in the world to do. And it seems like every time that we're putting this tin up, the wind's blowing. Huh. Well, yeah, we'll end up needing them here in just a minute. You can probably start laying them out around through there. So folks, this is a nice tent. I don't know if any of you all have ever seen them or not. Wanted one of these for a long time and was finally fortunate enough to be able to get one. It's a Kodiak canvas. I think it's a 1670. I think is the model number on it. Of it, I think. You all just have to bear with us a minute. Let us get it. I 
kind of laid out and we'll probably have it backwards. Let me check and see. Yep, we do. Still smell firewood smoke from last year with it. Maybe. We may be just smelling the canvas. From what I remember, Kate. This liner was a little bit smaller than the tent last year, I thought. Okay. I'm going to get my rubber mallet and then we'll be back. All right, folks. We have the tent set up. May need a little bit of fine tuning once the uh, blister gets here. Ashton, he shows up when the work's done. We've got the tent set up. We're one rope short. There's supposed to be a guy rope that goes in the middle of each side of this add-on. We're not going to use those. We haven't used them in the past. And, uh, you can tell we've got her set up. Me and Caitlin makes a good team on setting the tent up. This tent takes quite a bit of time to set up. For us it does anyway. Some of the professionals, it might not take as long, but it takes us a good while. And we ended up uh, taking two ropes right here. We had four, we took two to put up there on the, the add-on room, we call it, or awning. I don't really know what you're supposed to call that. Anyway, we've got it set up. We're going to probably eat us a sandwich or something and get ready to take off and go try to find Caitlin a place to uh, sit and uh, hopefully get her a deer. I already showed you the inside. But anyway, we're going to get ready to go. Oh yeah, <laughs> on this awning, it's got a frame that goes from here out and what we've done in the past, left looking indoor. And then I marked it on that to get you close. And then these hook on there and up here on the center pole. And we marked all these last year. This says top front, and I think it's right top front. And I marked it. And that way it'll get you close to the way they need to be when you put them together. And then uh, up here, this, in, this center pin for the add-on room has got a hook like that it goes in that hole and goes out this one is adjustable right here and we may have to adjust it out a little bit not for sure but anyway we've got the tent set up to where we can uh, at least uh, sleep in it now we got the uh, pioneer 520 here ready to go people that's a bad news machine right there Yeah, this is Ashton's tent. 
He called earlier and we told him somebody set up about a foot from him with a big uh, camper trailer and he got all tore up about it. But anyway, he put this tent up to uh, kind of put stake on, claim on this spot here. He come up the other evening after work and did that. But we're getting ready to uh, eat us a sandwich and go and see if we can find us a place to set up tomorrow morning. everything set up for the most part at camp. We at least got the tent set up. That was the main thing. Now me and Nathan and Caitlin are out here looking around a little bit trying to find Caitlin a good spot for in the morning. Nathan and Caitlin saw deer down here last year and Ashton saw deer down here just the other day. So we're going to look around down here just a little bit and then uh, go back up the hill here behind us and stop and get out and walk around look around just a little bit. We found Caitlin a spot right here. And this right here is what she's going to be able to see down in here. There's a lot of feeding sign in here, a lot of acorns. Caitlin's guide, Ashton, has found her this spot. Ash Holyo. 
the plan is Caitlin's going to go up this tree right here and then I'm going to be either in that tree right there or this one right here, the back one, one or the other. I'm probably going to be in this one here and she'll be in that one there. That's her plan. All right, we're going to ease up out of here and stop putting human sign in the woods right here.
Heading back out of here. Oh, uh, you're digging? Get out of this, it gets steep. Motion for him to go on. He's spinning out. Oh.
just waiting for us.
2023 Catoosa muzzle loader hunt, the first one anyway, first muzzle loader. We're on our way in to uh, see if we can get caught on the deer this morning. We went in yesterday and set our tree stands up. We think it's a pretty good spot. So hopefully it will be. Hopefully it's a place to pay out for us. Alright, we'll uh, get back with you here in a little bit for a new update. We didn't get to uh, do any uh, video yesterday. See that moon over there? Ain't that beautiful? Yep. All right, we got somebody behind us. We're gonna have to row. We'll check in later.
some action I'll come back on too but I just won't be talking Take this 
leaves are falling like crazy right now. 